Hello and welcome to the Tinosaurus Starter Walkthrough. Docusaurus is a powerful SSG loaded with features for creating documentation websites backed by content files stored in Git. With Tina, you can make it easy for anyone on your team to create and edit your docs without sacrificing your developer workflow. Edit files with a rich text editor and Tina will commit on save, or save directly to the file if you're working locally. Git will remain a source of truth for the whole team. Here you can see an example of the docs that Docusaurus generates. From the source files that are written in MDX, you get all the features users will come to expect, like breadcrumbs, linkable headings, a table of contents, tags, links, and more. If you're unfamiliar with MDX, it's based on Markdown, a plain text syntax for writing rich text content. But while Markdown is limited to a standard set of elements, MDX supports custom React components, like this admonition, written in JSX. Jumping over to Tina, you can see all our docs listed out. Let's edit the intro doc that we were just looking at. When we're working locally, the DocuSource dev server will pick up on our changes and recompile the page instantly. Tina parses your edits and saves them back to the file locally or, in production, it will commit to your repo. Let's take a look at how the form is configured. Tina's UI is powered by a schema that describes the shape of your content. Here you can see the collection is defined called docs, with a number of fields like title and rich text. The MDX components are defined as templates to be shared across multiple collections. Here, you can see how the template for an individual MDX component is defined. Now that we've seen basic MDX editing, I'm going to go over to the homepage, which is blocks-based. In Tina, blocks represent a list of objects that follow one of several predefined templates. This format is great for pages where each section is a different component, and each component has a different data requirement. Let's move the features to the top of the page and change the image for easy to use. In addition to content, you can also use Tina to edit anything that's backed by data in your Git repo. Here I'm going to update the footer to use a light color scheme. see the changes to some files, you're going to have to restart your development server. By default with Docusaurus, the sidebar is automatically generated using information from both your file structure and meta files located alongside your content. While the solution is ideal when you're manually updating files, for editing with Tina, we've wired up the sidebar so that you have full control over what gets displayed and how it gets labeled. While this covers the core features of the Tinosaurus starter, it doesn't touch on everything that you can edit, and it only really scratches the surface of what you can do with Docusaurus, so be sure to check out both projects on GitHub.